So the creator of My Hero Academia, Kohei Horikoshi has actually admitted that things of the story have changed, that he felt forced to change things about the story because of how fans receive things. And we're talking about that right now on the Kajic channel. Yeah, when it comes to this particular series, it's usually something of controversy when it comes to fans' reactions or different factions in the My Hero Academia fandom. Usually, when it comes to something like this, like, it usually is people complaining about whatever characters they ship together. This has nothing to do with that, so we're not going to be talking about like, oh my gosh, the Deku Uraraka shippers are at war with the Bakugo Deku shippers, I don't know, like that, that, this is not what that's about, that's not what this is about, been there, done that, yeah, what was that, like two years ago, that, that was a whole big situation with people spamming the creator about that, this is not that, and this is actually something on the creator's side, him speaking on it, not other people talking about it. So this is specifically his words. And it really has to do with just like cutting things out and pushing things back. So of course there are plenty of stage productions when it comes to My Hero Academia. So we have, you know, the manga, the anime, the anime movies, but we also have live action stage plays. And this happens like, every once in a while we have a new iteration of a stage play and we have the stage play called the ultra stage a symbol of peace play and with this iteration of a stage play for my hero academia kohei horikoshi the creator of my hero academia decided to say some things but it really wasn't much about the actual stage play it just came out because of the stage play but it really has to do with his story and how he feels about fans perceptions and what that caused him to do so basically this is what he says he says and i quote the stage play version of my hero academia has finally made it here this is around volumes 8 to 11 of the manga i remember things being quite hard at that time i was really busy spoiler warning if you don't know the story already then be sure to read this after you see the play like sometime when you're really bored and have nothing to do but shave your legs up until the summer training camp, the series had a pretty steady amount of popularity. But the moment I hinted that there were villains coming, crash! The popularity suddenly dropped. Sorry for talking about this, but I guess people didn't want them there. I already planned the storyline, and I couldn't just have the villains leave without doing anything. I decided to cut short some of the things I was planning to do during the summer training camp, and hurried to the next battle. The next battle, the All Might vs All For One fight. If All Might is there, everything will be okay. I relied on All Might and bet on him. I think the world within the story and the readers hearts were in sync. That's just how important All Might's existence is to me. Without All Might, I don't think the My Hero Academia manga would have come to be loved by everyone for so long. All Might answered my call and helped me make the manga go beyond what it was before. I'm sure readers have absolutely no interest in this, but as the author, that's how important this big scene for All Might is to me. Personally, I'm excited to see how they'll bring this to life with a 2.5 stage play. Maybe more excited than ever before, I ran out of room to draw something, so this time there's no art. I'm sorry. Okay then, plus Ultra, Kohei Horikoshi. Alright, and quote, so what he's talking about when it comes to like the anime is like this is around about season 3 of the anime story. And so it's not really a spoiler for anybody who is kind of up to date. That happened pretty early on. But what he's saying is like he had this whole thing planned. And then when he saw people were like not receiving it properly, where they were like, I, I kind of want this to be about the students, not the villains. I like the heroes, not the villains. It dropped. Although, of course, right now, the ironic part is the story is focusing very heavily on the villains although 
you do have to keep in mind this is the last part of the manga we're in the final act and so it's like the moment where like we're all focusing on the villains there's so much focus on villains the story is gonna end anyway so that's probably like his motivation I'm mean, he's like I'm just gonna do the story I want to do and you know it's gonna end anyway so take it as you will that's probably like how he's reacting to that but also you should keep in mind that's like the question is what other things has he changed in the story due to how fans have reacted we haven't seen any romance yet in particular when it comes to things like people push romance really really hard of characters they want to end up together and we really haven't seen that but we've also seen a big push for no romance at all so maybe he just doesn't want to add any characters together like romantically because well he doesn't want a rebellion on his hands of people just arguing with each other so it's like we don't know exactly all the things that he changed but now we know it's like he kind of confirmed that he's like yeah i kind of felt forced to change my story because the popularity was going down as soon as i did a certain thing to it and yeah when it comes to that just let me know what you guys think guys my name's Konjic. I'll talk to you in the next video. And I can say that I'm great, yeah, I can say that I'm perfect. I ain't the one that was out here saving lives, I was purchased. Now we about to take you out if you try to act toxic. I'ma send you straight up to my main man, Conjit. Conjit, Conjit.